Well, as the Gamecocks look to top UConn tonight, their team leader is revealing a secret she once hid from the world, hoping to inspire others. Senior forward Asia Wilson released an essay through the Players' Tribune after advancing to the Elite Eight, detailing her struggles with dyslexia. She wants to share her story so others understand that there is more to a student athlete than what you see during a game. There are many famous people who have struggled with dyslexia, including Jim Carrey, Keanu Reeves, Jennifer Aniston, and Whoopi Goldberg. Some of the brightest minds and most revered world leaders also suffer from the disorder, including Albert Einstein, Andy Warhol, Leonardo da Vinci, Pablo Picasso, and George Washington. Joining us now to talk more about dyslexia is Dr. Scott Decker. We appreciate you spending a couple of minutes with us, Dr. Decker. Sure, thanks for having so me. So you are an expert in the science of dyslexia. I've studied uh, dyslexia for about 20 years at the university doing research. So for someone sitting at home right now, and maybe this is the first time they've heard the word dyslexia, what does it mean? Dyslexia is a type of learning disability, specifically with reading, and it's uh, primarily caused not by reading backwards, but by phonological processing problems. That's decoding letters, linking letters to language sounds. So what's the biggest myth? What do people think dyslexia is compared to what it actually is? So the biggest myth is the fact that people usually think that two things. One is dyslexic children are less intelligent, and that children with dyslexia read backwards or write backwards. And those are the biggest myths that we have in dyslexia. So when, how, how early in, is it that you can diagnose dyslexia in a child? How, how, what are some of the warning signs? There are actually a lot of warning signs that you can pick up on even before a child goes to school. Wow. Some of them being uh, problems with complex oral language directions. Uh, having a family member with dyslexia and also having trouble dealing with language sounds such as things like write, uh, rhyming and not understanding how words rhyme. So if your child has difficulty rhyming words, that could be an indication that there may be something there. That's correct. So is dyslexia genetic? There are some, there's research studies suggesting that there is a genetic link. But even with it having some genetic ties, the biggest uh, 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 push that we should have is to get uh, early identification and early intervention to these kids in schools. That makes sense. The earlier you diagnose it, the sooner you can give those That's kids correct. the coping mechanisms and, and that they need to um, be successful in it. Is it a disorder that can be, I hate to use the word cured, I, but is it something that can be overcome and cured? It's not necessarily viewed as being cured because it's somewhat thought of as just a learning difference and uh, one out of every five kids could have learning differences mm -hmm. in both learning and attention um, but the uh, the consequences of not being able to read can follow you throughout your whole life yeah. um, so with the right interventions and with sensitive teachers and uh, uh, an understanding of what the problem is uh, a lot of these kids go on to uh, read uh, uh, at a high level, and as you mentioned earlier, go on to do uh, amazing things. Yeah, so uh, we went through our list of celebrities right. and amazing people who also had dyslexia. Talk to me about this, since you've done this for yeah. 20 years. Children who are dyslexic excel in what areas? They excel in a lot of different areas, but one area in particular is in visual spatial thinking. So a lot right. of these kids um, oftentimes will have skills and being able to kind of like rotate images in their mind. Wow. Um, and as you see, there's a lot of uh, individuals who go on to do amazing things in both acting and sports. And art. And art. And again, it's the, oftentimes they have these kind of visual spatial capacities uh, that are, are major strengths. That allow them to think to think Big differently, picture. and again, it's yeah. the idea that a lot of kids with dyslexia think differently. Uh, it's not necessarily a something that you cure. And different isn't wrong. That's correct. Dr. Decker, thank you so thank much. You this has been me. an amazing conversation. Thank you. We appreciate it.